Guten Morgen. Es ist heute Montag, den 27. April. Und normalerweise werden wir heute mit 7a anfangen. Und ich möchte ein bisschen über Kapitel 7a sprechen. So today, um, I noticed in my notes from last year, we would have started um, chapter 7 this week. Um, so we're kind of uh, keeping on schedule. And I want to go ahead and introduce the vocabulary and how chapter 7 would look in a short screencast. So here goes. Chapter 7 has to do with Kleidung. Say that word out loud. Kleidung. Die Kleidung. Die Kleidung. Kleidung is our clothes. There's another word for clothes in German, um, die Klamotten. Um, both are used, Kleidungs maybe used a little bit more. Um, it ends in UNG, so words ending in um, UNG are always D. Helpful hint. But let's have a look at some words having to do with Kleidung. So, clothes, Kleidung, Klamotten. Um, Take a second, and I want you to think about what do Germans wear? Are their clothes similar to ours, to yours, to most people you see? Are they different? How are they different? What comes to mind? Is it the late 90s style that's in Cafe Julia, and that's my fault for um, pushing that on you guys? Or is it um, Lederhosen, these pants down here in the corner? Leather pants, they are later hosen. These are a traditional costume, or mostly by Bavarians. There are some other um, places where later hosen are worn as a traditional costume, but um, maybe that comes to mind. Yeah, um, hopefully by the end of your German experience, you have a pretty good idea of what style is like over there. Um, I won't dive too deep into it just yet. But Luckily, with clothes, there are a lot of cognates. We've got words like das T-shirt, die jeans, die jacke, yeah, die bluse, even for blouse. These are great. Um, there are also some false cognates, words like, yeah, der Stiefel. It is not das Boot or das Boot. Uh, das Boot, spelled B-O-O-T, is a boat that you would go across a lake in. So just because... There are a lot of cognates. Don't assume everything works as a cognate. Um, but let's go ahead and look through some vocab. Here, haben wir die Zocke. You can say these out loud with me if you want while I go through. Nobody's listening. Go for it. Here we have das Kleid. Das Kleid is a dress. Try this out. Die Hose. Die Hose. Das T-Shirt. Das T-Shirt. Der Gürtel. Der Gürtel. Das Hemd. Das Hemd. Spelled das Oops. Hemd. Hemd is typically uh, a shirt a, a male wears, it's not like a rule, but um, typically a men's dress shirt is das hemd with buttons. Next, die bluse, die bluse. Typically a shirt worn by females, also doesn't, isn't strict. Die jacke. Yeah, but when the coat is a little bit longer like this, like an overcoat, it's gonna come, it's gonna be called der Mantel. Der Mantel. Auf Deutsch. Das sweatshirt is used. It's also most commonly, this would be called der Pulli. Der Pulli. Oder der Pullover but pulley is probably the most common. Lots of you wear pullovers um, in everyday life. In Germany, that's gonna be the same, a lot of pullovers. 
Ähm, hier haben wir das Sportanzug. Sportanzug. So Sportjacke, Sporthose, Sportanzug. The word Anzug means suit. Oops, one word. Sportanzug. Here haben wir die Jeans. Die Jeans. Das ist der Schürz. Der Schürz. It's a kind of a false cognate there, there but der Schürz, that's an apron. Here haben wir um, die Shorts. Man kann auch kurze Hose sagen, kurze Hose, but most Germans will call these the shorts. Here haben wir die Sportschuhe, or einfach die Schuhe, die Schuhe, der Schuh, die Schuhe, ja, der Schuh, die Schuhe. Zunächst haben wir Tennisschuhe, ja, und hier ist eine Jacke, eine Jacke, und jetzt, that's, some of the clothes we'll be working with, jetzt, now let's go through the colors. So Gus hat Spider-Man PJs on. Let's go through and see if we can remember colors. Say them out loud with me as we go through. Are you ready? We've got rote. Rote. Spelled R-O-T. Avoid saying rot. It's pronounced rote. Here haben wir blau. Blau. Und next, grün. Grün. For yellow, we have gelb. Gelb. And next, brown. Grau. Grau. Und hier haben wir Schwarz. Say it with me. Schwarz. So, die Fahne von Deutschland is Schwarz, Rot und Gelb. Most Germans call that Gold, though. Schwarz, Rot, Gold. So, next haben wir Rosa. Das ist Lila. Lila. But it's more fun to say Purper. Lila is more common. Purper is more fun to say. I tend to use both. Lila oder Purper. Das hier. Das ist ja Blau. Das ist Blau. Aber in English we would say light blue. Auf Deutsch heißt das hellblau. Oops. The word hell is not a curse word in any way, shape, or form. In German, the word hell means light or brightly colored. Hellblau is light blue. Here haben wir grün. Here haben wir grün, but it's a little bit of a dark green. The word for dark in German is dunkel. Dunkel. So if we want to call something dark green, we can say dunkel grün. Dunkel grün. Couple more. Here haben wir orange. Orange. It is uh, one of the few words that's not pronounced like it's spelled. It's spelled just like orange, and it comes out as orange, orange. Here, for diese Schuhe, oder der Schuh, der Schuh ist weiß. Weiß. Der Schuh ist weiß. Last thing I want to talk about real quick is the word anhaben. I'll have you do a little bit more with this later in the week or next Monday. 
haben means what? Have. On haben means to have on. But when you use on haben, it's its own word, kind of. You send on to the end. So, Toby, was hast du on? Er hat ein Cookie Monster T-shirt on. Was hast du on? Ich habe ein T-shirt on. Notice where on is in the question and also in the reply. If you ask, hat er eine Jacke on? Nein, er hat keine Jacke on. Yeah? So I'll give you more to look at with on haben a little later on. Thanks for listening to this um, brief introduction to a couple of clothing items and colors. Uh, we'll have more on this as we go on into this week. Tschüss, Max Gut. Stop.